variation the problem is find the external of the functional integration x1 to x2 y dash plus x square y dash square into dx so here we'll see the solution how to solve this kind of uh, extremals So the given integral that is integration x1 to x2 y dash plus x square y dash square into dx. So this is a given uh, function that is for this inside one what that, that is y dash plus x square y dash square I will consider let f of x y y dash is equal to the inside function that is y dash plus x square y dash square so once we got it is also considered as it is also considered f also this complete one either f or f of x y y dash all are same now Euler's equation is given by Euler's equation is we know that it is do f by do y minus d by dx into do f by do y dash is equal to zero. This is a Euler's equation. So using this Euler's equation, we need to simplify this extremal. So means we'll check uh, for what value it is going to be what your minimum. So using here, so this will apply here. So f value is what here y dash plus x square y dash square. So this is f value. So wherever f is there, we'll replace it. So therefore, it becomes the above equation. If you apply here, it will become do by do y of f value is y dash plus x square y dash square. So I'll write here y dash plus x square into y dash square minus sign minus sign d by dx of do by do y dash of f again f is there so f is will write completely that is y dash plus x square y dash square equal to zero now once we apply this so we need to go for do means partial derivative means if you are applying for x and y so with respect to y we need to means other variables we need to treat as constant so here so this complete result that is y dash plus x square y dash square we need to differentiate partially with respect to y so therefore here no y term is there all are other than y only means y dash is there x square is there y dash square so therefore this y dash x square y dash square is constant with respect to y so therefore so derivative with respect to y for this complete f is 0 minus d by dx as it is bracket now this bra this term that is y dash plus x square y dash square we need to differentiate partially with respect to y dash y dash means we have y dash terms here so therefore derivative of y dash with respect to y dash is 1 plus x square is constant in partial derivative x square will treat as a constant partial derivative of y dash square with respect to y dash is 2 times y dash 2 times y dash so close it equal to 0 so now go for the simplification shift this minus sign to the right hand side so it will become d by dx of 1 plus 2 x square y dash equal to 0 so I don't want this uh, derivative that is
this d by dx we don't want to remove this d by dx we need to integrate so integrate integrate with respect to x we get if you integrate with respect to x so d by dx will eliminate only we are going to left 1 plus 2 x square y dash but integration so if you integrating on both side so right hand side will going to be introduced as a constant so I will take it as c1 which where c1 is constant where c1 is constant so therefore but will I will rearrange this here which implies 1 plus 2x square y dash is nothing but dy by dx and c1 as it is so y dash is nothing but dy by dx again we need to eliminate this uh, uh, d by dx and we need only y so therefore I will rearrange this system of uh, uh, this equation I will uh, rearrange so which can this one you shift to the right hand side so therefore which implies 2x square dy by dx is equal to shift this one so it will become c1 minus 1 so we don't want this uh, 2x square also in the left hand side shift this 2x square to the right hand side it will become dy by dx is equal to c1 minus 1 divided by 2x square now again we need to go forward here simplification again we don't want this d by dx only we want y so on integration on integration so if you apply integration so it will uh, d, dy by dx will become y is equal to integration of c1 minus 1 divided by 2x square with respect to x So therefore again y is equal to here what happens so we need to go for integration so we will separate it as so here what I will do c1 minus 1 upon 2 is a constant c1 minus 1 upon 2 is a constant only integration of 1 upon x square we need to do because c minus 1 upon 2 I will take it as a constant so y is equal to c1 minus 1 upon 2 as it is integration of 1 upon x square is nothing but what here minus 1 upon x because x square you take up so integration of x raised to l formula you need to apply so it will become x raised to minus 1 divided by 1 it will be so therefore minus 1 means if you integrate 1 upon x square minus uh, 1 upon x square you will get 1 up minus 1 upon x because you need to apply the formula what here x raised to n so integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 so here we have x square so 1 upon x square if you apply so integration so it will become x raised to minus 2 if you take up so it will become x raised to minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 so on simplification x raised to minus 1 divided by minus 1 so x raised to minus this minus sign will be it will take minus sign and x raised to minus 1 can be written as 1 upon x so therefore it will be minus 1 upon x so therefore so once we apply and we need to add integrating constant that is c2 also here so therefore on final simplification so y is equal to if you open the bracket it will become c1 minus 1 upon 2 so this minus i will take before into 1 upon x plus c so therefore so y is equal to capital C1 into 1 by x plus C2 so where 
capital C1 is equal to minus times C1 minus 1 divided by 2. So I have taken this constant as one more name capital C1 or I can say that finally you can use any name also no problem any other alphabet so which implies y is equal to c1 upon x plus c2 which is the required extremum for the given functional which is required extremum for the given functional so in this way we need to simplify the problems based on calculus of variation of the given functional.